hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by and if today is your first time please subscribe to my channel and comment down below and then like share thank you so much for stopping by now today we are, i'm going to be showing you guys how to make an all shoulder simple gown dash trick then what i'm we are, what i'm going to need it i'm going to be using my brown paper to draft out for you to see before I use my fabric here and then then you'll be needing your French cover but I know most people don't have this so I might not be using this so if you have it's fine then I need your cotton scissors I will need your chalk and then you need your measurements your your pencil your tape rule and your ruler and then my bust is um 39 half length nipple point, fitted waist, gown length, hip line. Those are the measurements that you are going to be needing. And the bust, the fitted waist, the hip is going to be divided, going to be divided by, um, by four. And also you need your back. I forgot to write your back here. You need your back. And this your back is divided by two, not by four, please. Then let's go right into the video, guys. Then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to be using my brown paper to draft so that you can see clearly before I cut with my fabric. And what I'm going to do is that for every cross that you are going to, that you are going to cut, just remember to bring out the starting line here, which is half inch up here. Then what I'm going to do next, because it's an off shoulder gown, what I'm going to do, and the off the off shoulder gown has um, a strip. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be deducting five inches. It can be four, it can be six. Is how low you want your off shoulder to be. So for me, I'm going to be, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be deducting five from my full gown measurement. And then I'll place that five on that half inch. That half inch is my starting point. This line here is my starting point. Then I'll place my my five inches on the starting point uh, like so and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to be putting my nipple point and the nipple point is 10. so it's 10. then what i'm going to do again plus half i'm going to use to join the up so i need half then my my half length is is 16. plus the half i'm going to use to turn here i will need half so i have 16 and a half then my hip line hip line standard is always 24 inches so I will put my 24 inches plus half there, then I'll put it that's 24 and a half inches. Then my gown length is still long, but I don't have enough brown brown paper to go for it. Then what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to be inserting my uh, my shoulder. I will divide my shoulder by by two. My shoulder is 15, 15 divided by two. That will be seven. Have. I'll place it here, seven and a half. And what I'm going to do next is the bust. My bust, my bust is is 39, 39 divided by four is nine, nine point seven five. So I'll put my nine point seven five just right here, where I have my nipple point. And then we are going down to the waist side. My fitted waist measurement is 32. 32 divided by 4, I will have 8. So I'm going to be inserting my 8 over here. And then my hip is 42. 42 divided by 4, I'm going to be having 10.5. So I'll be inserting my 10.5 right here. So I have my 10.5. So I'm going to be having extra, maybe one and a half or one inches to each each measurement so i have my one inch there's no dart in this house so i don't need my dart so i have this so what i'm going to be doing next is the down is just going to be a free a free down down from the hip to so just be a straight one then what i'm going to be doing next is that i'm going to be connecting all my lines now right guys so what i'm going to do is that i will I will use okay let me use my free hand so that for people that don't have so I will also put my back right here seven and a half yeah then I'm going to be covering like this covering like this right then what I'm 
going to do next is I'm going to use my strip ruler. I'm going to be connecting from my bust stage um, allowance to my waist allowance and then to my hip allowance. Then, like I said, this side is just going to be straight. And then when I'm going down with feet, when I'm cutting in the main fabric, I'll be slatting my hand down there. This is what I have, what I have. And then I don't want this front to be like this. So what I'm going to do now is I will mark, I'll come down by two and a half or two is how you want from my starting point. Then I put my two and a half over there. And what I'm going to be doing is that I'll be I'll be using neck width, neck width of three. Okay, let's use four. I'm using four neck width of four inches, and then I will be. You can use your free hand if you don't have. Just connect your sweet up neck like like so. This one you have. So uh, let me do it both for you to see. This one you have, and then you have your hand over here. Let me connect both so you can see. So this is what I have. Yeah. So after 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 doing that, I don't want this place to be this wide. I don't want it to be this wide. So I'm going to be going in. I'll be going in by. I'll be coming.